Welcome back. We are ready to begin Module 5, Work Breakdown Structure, in the Using Open Workbench with Clarity self-paced training course. In this module, we have three learning objectives. The first one is building and modifying work breakdown structures using views, which is our primary way of working with the work breakdown structure. Second, we'll do somewhat the same thing using task properties. Maybe not building the work breakdown structure, but modifying the work breakdown structure and doing other operations, but using task properties. And then the third objective deals with project properties in Open Workbench. And that will be a short one because project properties are princ principally controlled by Clarity. So I am not recommending at all that we do um, any modifications to project properties in Open Workbench. Uh, it is there and so we're going to look at it and see what is there and there might be one or two places where there's something that we uh, could do something useful in project properties but for the most part it's all controlled by uh, Clarity. And then following these learning objectives we'll do a uh, hands-on exercise. Now before we get into the first lesson let's take a look at the roadmap of where we are and where we're going in this course in terms of building a uh, project plan because that's the way that we set out that uh, we set out that we would learn this open workbench application using the method of developing a project work plan and uh, that way we roll it out piece by piece in its natural order and so this is a roadmap of where we are and where we're going uh, item one, uh, we, uh, where we open the project, we begin by opening the project in Clarity, and that was done in Module 3. Then item two, in Clarity, we allocate roles as part of the project team, and we also did that in Module 3. And then next, in Open Workbench, we're ready to build, add, and complete the work breakdown structure, and that's the module that we're at now. Following this module, then we get into creating task dependencies in Workbench, assigning roles to tasks with ETCs in Workbench. Then um, item six, we, we schedule the project in Workbench. Item seven, we take that schedule, we review it and refine it uh, in Workbench. And then once it's all set and we agree to it in item eight, we go back to Clarity and we work with the resource manager and replace the roles with resources and then item 9 uh, back in Workbench or actually we could do this in Clarity also uh, we baseline the project and then finally item 10 we get into the monitoring controlling process which is an ongoing weekly uh, activity. Now beginning lesson 1 we first want to take a look at the concept of the work breakdown structure because the work breakdown structure is basically a hierarchical arrangement of the work that we're going to do. And uh, when you look at this breakdown, this picture here is a, uh, a graphical image of what a work breakdown structure looks like, uh, beginning at the project on top, and that's the, the overall context of what we're working in, and then we break down that project work breakdown structure into uh, phases, activities, tasks, and milestones or it, depending upon the methodology that you're using, it, the terminology might be a little different. The number of breakdowns might be a little different. When I say methodologies, I mean there are a number that are being used by companies. For example, PMI, uh, PMBOK, Project Management Body of Knowledge, or uh, RUP, uh, Rational Unified Process, and Agile, and Prince are just uh, a few. Uh, and there's a number more. So it could be that instead of phase, it could be called a stage. But um, we, it is a natural hierarchical breakdown of the project work. Another uh, thing about the work breakdown structure is that the uh, tasks that we see at the far right, tasks and milestones, this represents the detail portion of the work breakdown structure. Uh, the detail work uh, and, and, and milestones. The other items to the left of that, those tasks and milestones, are summary tasks, what we call summary tasks. And um, it's a key distinction in, in Clarity and Open Workbench in between the two because in Clarity open and Open Workbench, 
uh, all work is defined at that detailed task level. So when we uh, define dependencies between the tasks, it is at the task level. We will never uh, define dependencies at the activity or phase level. We'll do it at this detailed task level. We'll go from this task to this task to establish the sequence and to milestones also. Another thing that when we get to uh, assigning roles and resources to tasks and put their ETC, that will be at the task level, not the summary task level, not the activity or phase or whatever we call those. So that's a very important distinction with Clarity uh, and Open Workbench. And then um, the other thing is that how many breakdowns of summary level are there? And that's somewhat of a user choice to a certain extent. Uh, in this case I show uh, a phase and activity so we have uh, two levels of um, summary tasks above the detail and uh, it could be less or more in the case of our exercise that we're going to build and use throughout this course uh, that one only has two levels it has phase we skip the activity so we go from phase into detail but um, you can have uh, two or three and the only caution I would give you is that it is you would want to be careful in having too many levels of summary tasks. It can get very confusing uh, for those people who are um, reporting work against the task in timesheets uh, and um, it, uh, too, many, too many summary levels um, can be more confusing even for the project manager and too much to control. So that would be my only caution. Now to start with on the work breakdown structure and getting into doing that, uh, I'm going to uh, pick up the project in Clarity and I'm going to use this project here. I'm right now, of course, I just went into Clarity and I am at the overview page. And as a project manager, I have the portlet, my projects. And one of the projects in there I want to work with right now is this any OWB demo one initial. So all I really need to do is to click on that link and that will open this project and that's the one I'm going to work with in Workbench. So to work in it in Workbench, I'll just go to the Open in Workbench, Open Workbench and press the Go button and that will launch it in work, that will launch Workbench and uh, this project in Open Workbench. Now when this one opens, you'll see of course that um, the work breakdown structure is empty. We haven't built that yet. And uh, it is the one that we started in, uh, in uh, Module 3. Uh, so we do have the project team in terms of roles that have already been established. And now I need to work on the work breakdown structure a bit. And uh, I'm going to uh, try and show dem demo this from different angles and different items and what we can do and what we how we do certain things. So this is not I'm not building something right now like an exercise or something that I'm going to continue with. Now the, to do the work breakdown structure we talked about before we go into the planning group and that has some views in it that aid in the development of uh, some of the plan or initial planning activities. In this case we have the WBS definition view and we'll select that and that's where we'll use to do this work. So the first thing I want to do is to create a little segment of a work breakdown structure. I'm going to do the phase, three tasks, and the milestone. And so I'll begin and we're only going to use these three columns, first three columns, the type, the ID, and the name. And I'll go into the type to start with and uh, one way to do that is to just drop it down and select it and I'll pick phase because that's where I'm starting with. I'm going to at the top of this chunk of portion uh, segment of a work breakdown structure will be uh, the top part will be the phase and um, I'm, it's not the first phase that I'm going to do. I'm just going to pick it up at its middle point and so I'll give it an ID of in this case it might be the second phase so uh, I'll give it two and then um, I'll call it design phase. And um, so that's the top of the work breakdown structure. I'll go then to the first task and I'll just drop that down and I've got to scroll up here to find it. There it is, task. And in this case with continuing my numbering I'll just do 2.05 and then call this uh, 
design design module A. And I called this 2.05. I instead of doing like 2.1, I gave some room in case I need to add some tasks in between um, or ahead of A. I could have, for example, a 2.4 and keep a sequential progression on ID numbers. Uh, ID number schemes are um, um, optional and, and up to you as far as how you do it. I'm going to show uh, throughout this course this kind of methodology in terms of the ID and we'll explore more about IDs in a minute here. Now I'm going to put the second task in and this time rather than dropping down on the type I'm just going to type task and you see right away it picks up just after TA and so that's usually the easiest way to do that. This one will be uh, 2.1 zero and so leaving a little room between the two tasks and I'll do design uh, module B and uh, now I'm ready to do the next one and and uh, I'll just select down in there again I'll just TA and it picks it up and um, this time um, it is uh, 2.15 continuing that numbering scheme and this time I'm just going to do this I'm just going to copy um, from design module B and come down here and to my empty task that I'm naming and copy it in and then I'm just going to um, just change the B to if now module C and um, so that was a little faster maybe in doing that and uh, then the next step is uh, I'm now going to do a milestone and uh, I will then here drop this one down and I don't see the milestone. Where did the milestone go? Well, that's the way it, it, it opens up like that and you need to come pull up the scroll bar and come up to milestone uh, and then we'll put that in there and sometimes uh, people often use a numbering scheme slightly different for milestones so we put it like 2.99 rather than keeping the sequential scheme going along and here we'll say design uh, phase complete 